Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will explain uh, calculation of equivalent resistance using star delta transformation. So, in our previous video, I have explained the procedure for calculation of equivalent resistance and later on we have covered star delta transformation now we are combining these two topics and we are calculating here uh, the equivalent resistance using star delta transformation so this is our part number 5 for the calculation of equivalent resistance and the procedure for calculation of equivalent resistance i have already explained in this uh, in our previous two videos there and uh, the first step is to identify the nodes if for the given network then uh, we label these nodes and further we redraw the circuit if necessary okay it's not the compulsory step if the circuit is complex and if you want to make this make it simple then we generally redraw the network and our next step will be to solve series and parallel combination of resistances and in the same steps i have already uh, explained that don't use star delta transformation as far as possible okay avoid star delta transformation as far as possible if it is not uh, uh, <coughs> possible to avoid it then generally we should use star delta transformation now our problem is here our example number one is uh, find the resistance rxy means we have to find the resistance between these two terminals here by using delta to star transformation and star to delta transformation so friends if you don't know anything about star delta transformation please keep watch uh, watching our previous videos that was uh, our part number three and part number four for star delta transformation specially uh, where i have explained the formulas regarding the star delta transformation and I have already explained uh, how to solve the problem by using star delta transformation so it's the delta to transfer uh, star transformation first and later on we will solve the same problem by using star to delta transformation now you can see here that all the resistances here are having the same value in this problem so uh, let us solve it by our steps our step number one is to identify the nodes so this is our given network and we have to identify the nodes this is our first node in this case and this is uh, again the another node these two nodes are already given so this is actually our one node and this is our another node so here we have identified these two different nodes and now i will label it as c and d so after labeling we got c and d here these are our x and y already there now this is c d and uh, further step number three is to redraw this uh, network now you can see here that in between c and d one 9 ohm resistance is there in between x and c a 9 ohm resistance and in between x and d also a 9 ohm resistance is there and therefore the redrawn circuit will look like this so our new circuit that is redrawn from the previous network is this one now here you can see all the resistances are properly connected high resistances were there so uh, here you can see uh, and you can check whether they are connected properly or not but uh, uh, the main point is we are solving this by using delta to star transformation so our step number one for this problem was star uh, delta to star transformation now why solving delta to star transformation first we have to find the deltas here so our next step is to identify the delta network and therefore here i will identify the delta network delta network is one which forms the loop of three resistances now you can see here that in between this this x and d a 9 ohm resistance is there and in, in between c and d a 9 ohm resistance is there and in between x and c again 9 ohm resistance is there so this is our first delta as you can see so this is our first delta similarly in between these three points we will get another delta this is the second delta now if two deltas are there in the circuit note here that if two deltas are there in the circuit only solve one delta 
don't try to solve two delta at a time only solve one delta and it will simplify the circuit now you can see here that i i i will solve this this delta and therefore therefore i will draw a del, uh, star network in this delta and let the star point here star point or neutral point is e here okay now this is drawn by pen and as per our procedure this is drawn by pencil actually so further i will remove it but uh, uh, for the calculation of equivalent resistance now i will calculate the equivalent resistance in between these points so uh, in my previous video i had already explained that if a balanced delta is there our equivalent star resistance will be divided by 3 means 9 ohm will be divided by 3 which is equals to 3 ohm so equivalent star will be of 3 ohm if you don't remember this you can directly write r equivalent equal to and you can apply the formula for the conversion and our formula for the conversion is the uh, okay let us start with this point okay if you want to calculate this point here so connected resistances are this 2 9 ohm resistances so i will write 9 multiplied by 9 divided by addition of all the resistances of a delta network all the resistances are means 9 plus 9 plus 9 okay so it is 9 multiplied by 9 upon 27 so 9 threes are 27 and 3 threes are 9 so i got r equivalent equal to 3 ohm resistance okay this is 3 ohm so each resistance this 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 resistance will be replaced by a 3 ohm resistance so this is our equivalent conversion and now what i will do i will just remove this 9 ohm resistances here so that it will be converted into our previous and a proper circuit so this is our delta uh, star connection after conversion and therefore i will get uh, i got this circuit now next work is to simplify this now you can see here that this at this point and in between this point a 3 ohm resistance and a 9 ohm resistance are in series similarly this 3 ohm resistance and this 9 ohm resistance are also in series and therefore in series generally they are get added and therefore i can write here i can replace i can replace this resistance and this resistance with single 12 ohm resistance similarly this and this resistance can be replaced by a single 12 ohm resistance that is 3 plus 9 3 plus 9 is equal to 12 ohm so i am replacing this by a single resistance of 12 ohm here and 12 ohm in between e and y c in between e and y a 12 ohm and a 12 ohm resistance is there now you can easily observe that these two resistances in between R, E, Y are in parallel because both resistances are connected to same point E and Y. So, so solution for this numerator, in numerator, their multiplication and in denominator, their addition and therefore it will be equals to 6 ohm. So, so in between e y a 6 ohm resistance will be there and therefore our con converted circuit will look like this and last at last you can calculate r x y which is nothing but addition of 6 and 3 ohm resistance so 3 plus 6 equals to 9 ohm so r x y that is equivalent resistance between x y is 9 ohm so this is our final answer for the step one Okay, now let us solve uh, the same problem by using star to delta transformation. Now same circuit is there. So our step number one will be same that is the identify the nodes in the given network and these are our nodes here. Our next step will be to label these nodes and you can see here that nodes are labeled as C and D and the next step will be the redraw the network. Now we have redrawn the network here and it is looking like this. So our next step is to identify the star network because now we are solving this problem by using star to delta transformation and here you can see the first star network because a star network is one 
where three resistances are connected to a single node so this is our node d if we consider this as a star point or neutral point in this case star point or star node uh, so in this case these three resistances are connected here similarly by uh, considering c as our star network these three resistances are connected to the point c and therefore we are having two star network here out of which we have to solve only one star and to uh, we will convert it into given net uh, delta network so here i will choose this point as our star point and i am converting this into a delta network and therefore the circuit will look like this so in delta network in between same three points that is x y and c i am i have drawn the three resistances here and these three resistances are of delta network now this is a balanced star network and a balanced star network can be converted into a delta network by using formula 3 times r that is r delta will be equals to 3 times r that is equals to 27 ohms so each resistance can be replaced here by 27 ohm resistance or you can use the formula r equivalent equal to addition of two resistances that is 9 plus 9 plus multiplication of same two resistances divided by the third resistance each resistance is here 9 ohm so if you want to calculate a resistance equivalent resistance at this point it will be equals to 9 plus 9 uh, plus 9 multiplied by 9 upon the third 9 therefore it will be equals to 27 ohm now each resistances are replaced by 27 ohm and so this this point that is this star network now can be removed here and therefore circuit will look like this now we can apply here parallel or series combination of resistances now you can see in between the point is x y the same circuit is drawn here in between x and c sorry in between x and c this 27 ohm and this 9 ohm resistance says are in parallel similarly these two resistances that is 9 and 27 ohm resistances are also in parallel therefore here r c x or you can say that r c y equal to parallel combination for parallel combination what we do we generally use multiplication in numerator and addition in denominator if two resistances are connected therefore it is equals to 9 multiplied by 27 upon 36 which is equals to 6.75 ohm so these two resistances can be replaced by a single 6.75 ohm resistance as well as these two resistances can be replaced by a single resistance of 6.75 ohm now you can see here that this 6.75 and this 6.75 two resistances are in series therefore the equivalent resistance will be the com addition of these two and its addition will be equal to 13.5 resistance 13.5 ohm therefore here the last resistance that is r equivalent is the common parallel combination of these two resistances and therefore r x y equal to in numerator multiplication of these two resistances and in denominator again addition of these two resistances so use calculator and calculate it we get it as 9 ohm so the equivalent resistance between x y is equal to 9 ohm in previous uh, problem also previous previous part also we got 9 ohm in between x and y here also 9 ohm means our solution is correct here so uh, this is overall a star to delta transformation and delta to star transformation for the solution of for finding the equivalent resistance in the next video also i will explain that is our part number six calculation of equivalent resistance using star delta transformation but the problem will be somewhat different previously we have used all the resistances of 9 ohm that is same resistances were there in this problem, all the resistances will be of different values. So keep watching. Thank you.